Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds, too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind, no better than 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train... Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. Bond Street. It's, uh, it's on your platform. Thank you. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys with me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her? Fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Get something. Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before. You know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. Don't you? But uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. Can I help you with something? 
I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. I can't do it. Sorry. It's more than my job's worth. So you're a good boy. Shame. And didn't you ever steal a sweet from the sweet shop? Not sweets that expensive. I promise I will bring it back. Ah, look, forget it. There is no way I'm letting you drive a £200,000 car out of here tonight, all right? What? Look, no more fast cars tonight, all right? Slowly. Now get over it. Drop it. Smile. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. Back here. Fuck! Hey, aren't you the guy from the car park? Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. South Kent, please, mate. Look, something's come up I need to take care of first. Oh, fucking hell. Look, I'm a fucking student, okay? I've got no money. My family's got no money. What am I to you? A problem, that's what. You know the guy broke into the garage, don't you? Maybe. I didn't see his face, okay? I can't identify anyone. But you can identify me. Just relax.
Who's the baggage? It's fucking mistake. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, letting an eyewitness get away. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ! And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. He needs to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That still leaves lots of painful options. <sighs> not good at maths, are you, mate? What's that supposed to mean? Minus one, plus one. That means zero. Yeah, zero problems. Look, you need someone to help you out. And I need someone not to stick a fucking syringe in me. Why on earth would I trust you? Because you don't have a choice. Just like I do. <sighs> see your point. Are you serious? Are you gonna go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not gonna see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. What about the money? Don't push your luck. I'm taking his risk, so I want his share. Fuck off! Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. Okay, I'll tell you what, you two split 50 50, that's the deal. Done. You can't do this! It's done! Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you've got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. 
920. 920, thank you. I see you. 930, again to my left. 940, do I hear 940? 940, thank you, sir. Looking for 950. 950 to my left. Do I hear 960? Fair warning. I'm selling. 950 once, 950 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is. 950 grand for its time. Just Thank try you. to keep Very your powder dry. Oh, I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tramp. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. I'm of the red now. phoenix pattern Time. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, you can't afford it. What did we say about that? Okay. And so, we shall begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm twenty percent on the sale you, price, don't we? Phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Man, Thank you. Stop man. bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ, oh I'm looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him. Talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your Ten we have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear... 10-5. You are so getting lumbered with this. 10-5. 10-5 I have. Thank you. Now do I hear 11? 11 I have with the lady. Again, thank time. you, madam. Do you have 11, it's your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. 11, okay. so... Because, you know, price we have 11 5. logarithmic curve, derivative 11, approaching five. zero. So the chances of getting away with another your bid at 11, madam. What is 11, 5. Half percent. Trust me. 11, 5. 11, 5 I have. Thank you very much, sir. 11.5, it's your bid. It's against you now, bid. It's against you, sir. 11.5. 11.5 with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once. 11.5 twice. 12 million I have. Thank you, madam. 12 it is. So do I hear 12.5? 12.5 I'm looking for. 12.5. Your bid at 12, madam. Looking for 12, 5. 12, 5. 12, 5, I have to my right. Thank you, sir. 12, 5. So do I hear 13? It's against you now, madam. 12, 5. Are we all out? At 12, 5. Fair warning. I'm selling. 12, 5, once. 12, 5, twice. 
sold to the gentleman on my right for twelve and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. Let's get the hell out of here. You see, the wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Okay, what are my options? I can warn the security guard instead of attacking him. Or I can take this lift up to a higher floor and maybe warn one of the employees. Or go up to the roof and maybe try and escape from there. Hey, listen, this is... That's not as for you. It's not complicated. Oh shit. The video feed's cut. Oh, I fucking hope so. Did you get the code for the gate? Yeah, but my gear's still upstairs. We're gonna leave it. We're out of it. I think it's pretty with you. Enter three zero nine two two zero. Three zero nine two zero. Enter. Enter. security guard, all right? I protect stuff, I don't steal it. So as far as I'm concerned, fuck you. Oh, fuck me? Yeah, fuck you! Because that's what you've done to me well and proper. You did this to yourself. Had it been up to me, you'd be sleeping in the back of a van. Yeah, like I said, fuck you.
We have it. Thank like, fuck for that. Just get out of it. Nothing here. Nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bolt. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until it gets to Wu's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You want to take a left? Some Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. Sounds classy. What are we going to do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Oh, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. OK, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. Come on. to finish what you started. It's Mr. Wu's. Yeah, well, that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, OK? You have to do something. Oh, look. Come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four? Four on me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four on me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Wu here. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? 
memory query. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, wait here. Have fortune cookie. Fuck fortune cookies. Hey, I like them. These two. I told them to wait. What makes you believe you can just walk in here? Hola, hola. Would you want me to go into your home just like that? Huh? Come through. What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you your bow. My bow? Adam, turn by Oh, fuck. Managing to steal that bow. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place. It's nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness. It is also suicide. To the Choi family, possession of that ball is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. It's price. It's beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! What should we do with it? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atom! Go on, Cordae, Tohoi. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Fucking great. Do you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. No. No, we go to the police, Mei Ling. Like we should have done in the first place. That's a terrible plan. Well, it's better than hiding away from the inevitable. Look, we need to get rid of this bowl before the choice get rid of us. If we take it to the police, they will arrest us. Not for definite, no. I'll make it an even 50%. You do realize your calculations and my gut are doing exactly the same thing? 
You just need the numbers to make you feel better. My numbers are based on the information that we have, yeah? And rational mathematical algorithms. Well, my gut feelings are based on experience and my entire subconscious. Do you know how many percent of your brain's activity are conscious? Probably less than one. Now that's a percentage. So trust me when I tell you that going to the police is a bad idea. No. No, I'm going to the police, Mailing. You coming with me? You want to take the damn thing to the police on your own? Be my guest. Oh. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Pass the buck. You know, you might still get killed. Now, let me get this straight. Earlier tonight, you were forced against your will to take part in a robbery. And now we're turning the proceeds of said robbery to the authorities. Yeah. And what exactly is it that you were turning? It's a Chinese porcelain bowl. Stay there. I'm under arrest. Not yet. You allege someone forced you to steal this? Yeah. They threatened to drug me. Threatened to drug you? Convenient. I'm telling you the truth. We'll be the judge of that, sir. Like you said. So you claim that you were blackmailed by other members of this gang, all of whom it transpires are now dead, into stealing this antique bowl from the Hamesworth auction house. That about right? Pretty much, yeah. This uh, robbery occurred over two hours ago. It took you a while to locate your conscience, didn't it? It's been a complicated night. That it has. We went to see this Chinaman who was supposed to have hired them to steal the bowl, but... We? What? You said we went to see a Chinaman. You told me that everyone else had been killed in the van explosion. There was a girl. Oh, you just surprised me. Where's she at? I don't know. Again, convenient. Now, why don't you tell me why you stole this bowl? And who you stole it for? I've told you. It's for this guy, Mr. Wu. He runs a restaurant in Shoreditch. That's all I know about him. The Hong Kong city on Shoreditch High Street? So you've heard of him? Tony Wu was found murdered in the back office of his restaurant less than an hour ago. What? And you openly admit having been there tonight. He was alive. When you got there, maybe. How about when you left? Mr. Thompson, are you refusing to answer my questions? He was alive when I left. That is God's honest truth. Either way, it doesn't look good for you, does it? I didn't kill him. Yeah, and I had no choice in the robbery. I I've come in to help. What more do you want me to do? I want you to talk to somebody. Do you recognise this woman? What the fuck is this? What do I have here? Answer her. It's the Chinese bowl we stole from the auction house tonight. No, it's not. Even though it fools the eye, I must admit. Which is why we rely on an effect called thermoluminescence. It's used to determine when the porcelain was fired. The bowl was created during the late Ming Dynasty, somewhere between 1368 and 1644. So it should be... Between 647 and 371 years old. I guess that's about right. 
But unlike the bowl I examined this evening, this thing here is less than five years old. So where is the original? Hey, where is it? Fuck. Yes, I dare say. Start talking. To a solicitor, no one else. Appreciate you coming down, Miss Tran. We'll keep you informed. Matthew Thompson, I am arresting you on suspicion of armed robbery and on suspicion of the murder of Tony Wu. What the fuck? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you let them rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Look, when I left that building, Wu was alive. You've got to believe me. Tell it to your solicitor. <laughs> Vehicle 721 in position on City Road. Copy that, 721. Please hold until further notice. Where are you taking me? CID at Knightsbridge. They want you to talk them through the robbery. If you want my advice, I'd help them do it. Start getting a few plus points on your record. Get a year or two off your sentence. Can't believe it's come to this. Where did I go wrong? Where did I make the wrong choice? Clive, you see this? Where is it? I don't know. Look, I don't. I don't know where it is. We've all had a very long night. If you don't come to your senses, I can assure you that yours will come even longer. Where's the ball? I haven't got it. Lies. The police informed us. The rightful owners. About what we've done. Where are you hiding it? Oh, look, I haven't got your fucking rice ball. Or... Disrespect, we're punished. Now, for the final time, where is the ball you took from the auction? Not the copy you brought to the police. The original. The original ball that you stole. Where? You've got the wrong guy. What the fuck is that? You know where the ball is. You and your lady friend. Next door. Both of you know. One of you will tell. What have you done to her? So you admit to your partnership with her? What have you done to her? L L what the fuck is this? What have you done to her? I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Ball equals pain. The longer you have bowled, the longer you have pain. Very simple mathematics. Fuck! 
fucking hell. No, I haven't got your fucking right spot, okay? Fuck! I don't care if you have it or your girl. The ball is ours. First to tell the truth is free. The other is punished. The classic prisoner's dilemma. Game theory first term. Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mei Ling tells them, and vice versa. If our answers are inconsistent, one of us dies. Choose. What? Choose punishment. Know your fate. The long one. Good choice. Very honorable death. One turn and it twists your intestines like a key. Death comes slowly over a long, long time. <gasps> Great. Where is the bull? The original bull. Can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Look, look, I am genuinely telling you. Okay, I know nothing about swapping the original for a fake. Okay, I, I was forced to be part of the robbery. I had no choice. I, I, I knew nothing about the plan apart from what to do next. There is nothing I can tell you that's of any use. You're just wasting your time with me. That's the absolute truth. Gong Taiwa. Where is the original? Do we repeat? I don't know. Second round, like I thought, the girl kept quiet. Where? following the strategy. If I get this wrong, then Mailing gets one of those knives through the stomach. And so do I. God, I don't know. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> this can only continue. Where is the original? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> every finger and every knuckle continuing every joint you will see daylight but still it will continue where is the original Christ that girl's tough do I even believe that she's in there is she a part of this is she a part of the gang and they think that I'm the only one who knows where the original is Am I just prolonging the inevitable? Fuck. Fuck. Do I trust her? Then I'll see you in the fucking morning, mate. <laughs> Danger! The lemon will bow outside Junior here. Who will injure it, wouldn't he? The lady says you lied to us. That you're the only one who knows where it is. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can we please speak in fucking English? I didn't say you're the only one who knows where it is. I said you're the only one who can get to it. It's okay. It's decided. You bring us the ball. She stays hostage. If you fail, she dies. <laughs> it's Pa. He's the one who fucked us. He fucked us all. How do you know that? Because I'm the one who forged the copy for him. Oh. 
fuck me. Enough. Time to go. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm sorry. Where's the original? I don't know. done to us. What the hell is he playing at? Rich fucking bastard. What the fuck am I doing? Am I really doing this? All right, just keep walking, just keep moving. stage had it, right before we stole it. Right, how do I find him? Sebastian at home. Hello. Who's speaking, please? It, it, it's, um, it, it's Stan from work. I, I heard he was in an accident. Is he alright? Is he at home? No, no, he's not well. He's been taken to the hospital. There's a serious concussion. It's horrible. Um, I, I'm really sorry to hear that. Where did they take him? They took him to St. Thomas's, but they won't let me visit until the morning. St. Thomas's. Thank you. I, I'm really sorry this happened. I'm sorry, though. All right. Let's pay this poor guy a visit. can see. W weren't you supposed to be going out? But the night somehow started badly. Yeah, well, things would have gotten way worse for you. Oh, don't start. What brings you here? Um, uh, I'm here to see someone. Can you tell me what room Sebastian Leclerc's in, please? Is he here? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, come on. It's just a room number. What? Like it was just a key? Oh, come on. Good night.
Fine. Good night. Hi. Hello. I'm here to visit Sebastian the clock. Bear with me a second. Oh, no. No patient by that name. Sorry. Oh, I, I must have misheard the name of the hospital. Thanks, anyway. What are you doing here? I'm here because of the crimes committed at Hainsworth tonight. You shouldn't be here, nurse. No! Now you listen to me, mate. I'm a peaceful man. Okay, I do not want to hurt you. But if you try that shit again, I swear to God, the bits of you heart are gonna get a whole lot worse. Do you understand me? Do we have a deal? Yes. Good. Now tell me about your deal with Samuel Parr. I know you replaced the Paulson Rice Bowl with a forgery. That's a lie. Do you want to discuss that with the police, mate? Perhaps have a little gander at the surveillance footage with them. They have already seen the footage. Of the robbery, maybe. But what about the footage of you after you left the main auction room? Of where? Backstage. You know nothing. You need not scare me. There's nothing you can do. And it's just a matter of time until the choice will find you. Where's the rice bowl? It's stolen. Look at me. I was beaten up. Where is it? Where did you put the original? I didn't put it anywhere. I know you switched it, Sebastian. Where is it? I didn't take it. This is a definite line. Do I really want to cross this? Tell me where it is now. Where? I swapped it. In the elevator, I swapped the original with the forgery, and I hid it. The cabinet? Pa's cabinet he bought in auction. There was a secret compartment in it, right? Yes. Is that where it is? Is the bowl still inside? I don't know. This is the truth. The security took everything to the safe storage after the robbery, and they brought me here to the hospital. Safe storage? So it's still inside Hainsworth? Maybe. When will it be shipped to Paul? Small items such as this, mostly the next day. 
but Parr's friends on the board. He probably managed to ship it out tonight. So you could have the bowl already? Yes, possible. Where's that bloody bowl? Feels like a 50-50 chance. How do I get him to tell me? Perhaps you can squeeze him? Very lightly. Where can I find him? Primrose Hill. <sighs> I was never here, right? Yes. And you never heard about the hidden compartment. Get what soon? Samuel Parr? Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr, this man says uh, that he thank has you, a... Thank you, Willa. I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intruded at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. Original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt. How did you come by this extraordinary theory? I know that Mailing forged a copy for you, and you organised the robbery. And you have proof to back up this outrageous slander? I don't need proof, mate. We're not in court, are we? I know what I know, yeah? That you fucked up my life for a piece of fucking pottery! Language, dear boy. Don't get confused. And I know about your deal with Sebastian de Clark. Yeah, smuggling the original out of the auction house, hidden inside the wooden chest you bought. This is quite the little work of fiction, isn't it? What do you hope to gain by this? We can discuss this sensibly or not. I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? Wait. All right. Sensibly in my study. Yeah. Lead on. Where's the bowl? I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. It's the truth. I'm not leaving here without that fucking bowl. I don't know where it is. I will destroy everything in here. 
Mr. Parr, is everything all right? Uh, it's fine, Ola. Everything is fine. <laughs> I'm not fucking joking here. I will fuck up everything. I need that bowl. People's lives depend on it. I don't think you'd go that far. Neither did I until I got here. But where's the line? How far will I go? You're making a mistake. Oh, to hell with you! Oh. Neither of us are leaving here until I get that fucking bowl! Stop in the name of God. It's here. The bowl is here. Show it to me. It's in the safe. I collected the chest last night. This conversation is over. Fuck you. You're dying, but the girl can still live. Where is our ball? We must have it! Where? Fuck you. Shoot Alice. Eventually. 